Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to continue our tutorial series on One Angry Dwarf and 200 Solemn Faces. Um, we're going to tackle the solo today. It's not going to be exactly what Ben plays, but it's going to be what I do when I play the solo, and it's pretty darn close. So the progression is something like this. To the G, and the E minor 7, and the B, D, G, E minor, and the suspension. Now, if that's a little too quick, I did go over all of that in the verse video, so please check that out if you need to go over those chords and how to do those. But the reason I mention them here is because that is, those are the changes that we will be soloing over. Um, so here's what I'm going to play for you. I'm going to leave the screen left and right because this solo takes up too much of the piano for my camera to catch, but I will go through it all, I promise. Here's what I play for the solo. Bring that up an octave so you can see it. All right, those are all the sections we're going to go over in this little tutorial here. And like I said, I know it's not perfect, but I think it sounds great, and I think it's very much in the spirit of what he does. So first thing we do is this huge glissando. I put my foot down on the pedal, and I just mash the keys and move up until I'm right where my hands need to be. And that first chord that I hit is a D9 in my left hand. I have the three, flat seven, and the nine for D chord. And up here, I'm playing D octaves and a little crush from the sharp four to the five. And that rhythm's kind of important. One, two, three, four. Right? So that's what I do. And the first one, I kind of all together. And then I give a little hiccup note here. Like so, and then I play the same thing in my right hand, but I change to the G7 chord, G major seven chord. So we got D, and then the G, and then you have the little, the little slide crush there. So I got, and I play a C on the top, it's not sounding, but I play a C right there, and then the main part of it is, which is like the flat five or the sharp four to the four, flat three down to the one. And if you don't have that lick under your fingers, man, do I use that all the time in solos. It is a great lick to have, the little... where I'm crushing with one finger down to the four, and then there. Here it is in C. Right, here it is in A. Pretty cool lick, used by a lot of piano players. So here we're doing that. We go to the D with no sliding crush, the G with the crush. Then we go E minor. So we do that slide the whole time. So here's the first bit. So lots of that sliding crush and, the, and then the octaves with the five on there. One more time, then I'm gonna keep going. Then we move to the B chord, and we're gonna start with a major chord, and so we got octaves in the left hand, and then I got octaves in the right hand, and then my uh, index finger here is gonna be on the three, and we're kinda gonna move that up chromatically like so, and then the left hand's gonna move, not necessarily chromatically, but kind of. Just like so. So we, we're gonna skip that first one and get to the two, but, so full chord. And if you want to think about it, it's kind of like this. That's all he's doing, but he's got the two down here in the left hand and the, yeah, I don't know what that would be, the chromatic movement up here. So you really, instead of this, you got this going. 
So all he did was spread those thirds into two hands, and then you keep the octaves on the outside. Oops. Right? And that's my favorite part, I think. And then you go back down to the D here, and then I play that same D octaves, D octaves in all hands, so I got four octaves of Ds, plus the five up here. I don't know if you could see it, but that five right there is important, and that's going to stay. So we're going to move all of this chromatically, including that five, like this. All the way up to an A. So that whole section starting with the B goes like this. Then to the D with the five. Moving chromatically. And then once we get to that point, he does this fantastic lick where he plays an E minor seven chord in all these different inversions all the way down the keyboard. You can kind of start it anywhere. I kind of start it anywhere. I'm going to start it here so you can see it. But you're going to play, so let's say I have an E minor 7 chord like this. He does two, and then he brings his left hand in to do the fifth one. So it's like one, two, three, four, excuse me, the fourth one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's just one inversion, so he'll go one, two, three, four. Then change the inversion to something like this. One, two, three, four. And that one includes this A right here, a little bit different. And then change it again to do this inversion. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As far as he, he just does it all the way down the keyboard. And so I kind of have three of them. I have this one that uses the A. Then I have this one that is just the, tr the inversion of the triad. Another one, just an inversion, then I use the A. So I don't know if that's exact, but I think it really sounds great. And even if it's not, it's something I now use in other solos now that I've learned this. So I'll be playing along, you know, kind of just like playing E solo and then, you know, and you could just add it in. It's a really nice, uh, really nice effect. But anyway, so not exact, but he moves it down as long as he needs to. All the way to the suspension, to the suspended F sharp, just like we did in the verse. So here's the beginning of the solo. We do the glissando. B. Walking it up, then start on the D with the chromatic. Keep going to the A, to the E lick. Something like that, to the suspended. Right? So that's the first half of the solo. One more time. Oops. Right, so that's a rough cut of it, but that's the idea. Second set of the solo, now that we've played that, we come down to the lower half of the piano, and we give it a, a B chord. So same chord progression. B. And we're just outlining the arpeggio of the chord there. So he plays B. I, and then I have my root position, B minor 7 chord, up. And up's a little faster than down. And then right into the E. And that's just my E dominant seven. I leave out that E there. Then I go to my A. Right? So it's the same thing twice in a row. And notice that we've moved on to now that second chord progression. Now we're playing the... That chord progression is now what we're soloing over. So we have B, E, A, D, right? So it's kind of like a sequence. And then, I know I'm not playing this part exactly right, but the, the gist is right. When he goes down to the G, I play kind of like a, like a moving thing there. And it continues 
into that bit. So instead of the uh, right here, the so we still have the G and then the suspended F sharp chord, but over that I'm playing G suspended F sharp chord, and then it even keeps going into the B minor chord. Now we start the progression again. And it's a little bit different. I kind of take liberties with the melody here. Right, so that's what I play. It's not exact, but definitely he brings in a, a thicker chord with his left hand at this point. And so I like to include that. And the right hand is just kind of soloing at that point. Right, and once we have that, then we bring back that E minor lick that we were talking about all the way down to those low Bs. And then I'm gonna start that, I'm gonna start the E lick up here and then play that B lick right there. But before we do that, let's play the whole solo up to where we're at so far. B, D, E lick coming down to the suspension, and then the B, E, A, D, G with the lick, F sharp suspension into the B progression, E lick down. B. Okay, so we got the solo all the way to that really cool low bass part where he starts singing again. So that really cool, that really low bass part, we're basically playing the two chords from the intro, the B and the D, but he's just playing um, this little chromatic lick where he starts on B, and we're going to do octaves. You could do it one-handed like that. That is pretty hard for me. And since I'm not using my right hand, I'm going to use both hands to play it. And I can get really fast if I do it that way, which I cannot do. And my wrist would get pretty tired doing that. But you could. Oftentimes, Ben will even use his elbows, too, just for fun. <laughs> I know that's not what he does on the record, but you'll see him in the videos. So anyway, we do the E lick. All the way down till the till the time is right, and then we play this B. So we play octave, then we go down to the G sharp, A, A sharp, B. And it's the same amount of time as the intro progression. So I'll play it for you one time. Here we go. Okay, so that's one time through. And notice, so we went B, just like the, at the ballpark. <laughs> I just noticed that's at the ballpark. Um, so just like that, we go B, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. And then the other one we do is D, B, C, C sharp, D. So the only thing that's tricky about this is you got to get the timing, and it, it takes a while to get it and to be smooth and to sing over it's difficult. But the other thing that's tricky is when it restarts, you have to play the B twice in a row and then the D twice in a row. And I'll show you what I mean. So see how there was two Bs in there? Boo da boo da boo da do 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 da. One, two. And then the D, when you get to the D, you're going to play it twice and come back down, too. So it's kind of like a double time. D, D, B. B, 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 D, 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 B. Right? So you got to watch out for those doubles, because otherwise you'll be off track. So let's try the whole solo all together, and I'll show you how it sounds.
that's the idea. Uh, let me know if you got any questions, comments. Uh, the solo is definitely a tough one. So uh, please feel free to make any adjustments that need to be made. Uh, love doing this stuff for you guys. Let me know what you want to hear, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks very much. Please do like and subscribe to the channel and enjoy uh, everything I put up there. Thank you.